It's out with the old and in with Nigeria's new biometric visa in some countries for now. At the official launch in Johannesburg, visa facilitation agents were also present and there were questions and concerns raised from the right procedure to obtain longer term visas to a validity duration, safety and necessity of repeat of captured data. This system which departs substantially from the former requires the physical presence of visa applicants at the OIS office here for their biometric data capturing. How safe is the information and has it been tested since October? The information you are inputting will normally be assessed only by those who have the need to know. I will assure you that we will protect this information with the best possible way that it will be done in accordance with international best practices. Before we launched the process um, in October in South Africa last year, we had tested it in the lab for a long period before it came out into, um, we cannot be testing with people's life data. So we already tested it back office to make sure that once we came on life, we got everything right. There were also questions and clarity regarding Nigeria's visa on arrival policy. The applicant who is desirous to go through uh, to Nigeria by visa on arrival will have to go on to our website, um, which is www.immigration.gov.ng, and then choose visa on arrival and apply. Approval will be sent to the email address of the applicant, and uh, he will get he will arm himself with that approval, and upon arrival. He presents it to uh, immigration officers in Nigeria and they will direct him to the visa on arrival decks where he will be issued with a visa. The new biometric visa processing has begun in the phase one rollout countries, which include South Africa, the United States of America, the United Kingdom, India, China, and the United Arab Emirates. Children under five and senior citizens 65 and above are exempted. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Betty Dibia, Channels Television News.